good evening ma'am good evening rohit how are you uh, i'm fine ma'am and uh, how are you i'm i'm doing great so rohit uh, i've been hearing lot about your story that coming from the mechanical engineering background what were your struggles and finally you started your career in iipd so i want a detailed version of that story for my audience today ah uh, detailed story uh, let's just cut it in brief uh, detail is what uh, for the past uh, you know 6 7 years i was uh, preparing for engineering self examination unfortunately couldn't go for i did qualify prelims but you know but things were, you know luck was not on my side so hence i was uh, in the meanwhile i was doing freelancing and uh, content writing but then suddenly i got this link uh, you know wherein I, you were sharing them kind of uh, online session wherein i got to know about this course and i thought it, it, it is interesting because i am also a creative person and i and in during my college days i was also you know uh, me and my team were also filing for a patent so that's how i got interested into this i uh, wanted to know about it then i you know enrolled for this course thanks to neha ma'am and then <laughs> finally i'm here and happily over here right <laughs> awesome so uh, you are currently working with which company and what is your job responsibilities over there uh, currently i'm working uh, in invent ip mm-hmm. as an uh, associate researcher mm mm-hmm. so basically i'm learning the drafting skills right now mm mm-hmm. patent drafting skills so how this current work is giving you the work satisfaction a uh, lot of learning that's you know the i always crave for and uh, that is you know it is completely satisfying you know like you know every day there is a new learning every day you know you are you are dealing with new clients and uh, you know those writing skills so that is a kind of uh, gives me a satisfaction okay so coming from a mechanical engineering background why do you think ip and patents are important for any mechanical engineer to understand about it uh, see every day when we are working in the mechanical industry uh, mm-hmm. i think you know when you over the time you come up with some kind of new ideas in your brain which you would mm-hmm. want to you know uh, give a name to yourself to those ideas and and who knows it might become you know give you monetary benefits in the future so that's why i think uh, patent are important so uh, the, and in that scenario um, you know mechanical is a huge universe kind of thing so in that domain you know there are so many domains inside mechanical and i think uh, patents are definitely important for mechanical engineers as well okay so explain uh, there has been some days of your struggle in which you were struggling to find a right career where you find satisfaction in your mind in your heart that you are doing a good work so can you explain how were the struggling days for you struggling days or like uh, there was no way to i basically uh, for mechanical engineers there are two options while you know passing out either you are going towards the uh, industry sector where you are where you will be looking at the manufacturing and the production industries you know basically working in the industry sector or the supply chain or those assembly line and all those or either you are going towards the uh, designing thing uh, <clears throat> both the fields are lucrative but uh, respectively for well, you know everybody has their own perspective i was uh, i was myself was uh, preparing for the designing course as well but later i realized uh, to getting into this designing field would i would be just restricted to words working inside the computer and all those drawings and diagrams and you know 3d modeling itself so nothing new would be coming my way as against this career every day will be a new thing new invention new inventors will be coming up with new stuff and there will be a new learning and what now uh, what if uh, you know i just come up my own new invention i <laughs> myself file a patent my <laughs> so that is what the thing is okay so you enrolled for iipt program what was the best part of the program which you really liked and enjoyed learning enjoyed learning you now the whole aspect you know everybody was helpful the teaching was great shiza ma'am was very helpful in each and every you know questions and uh, and neha ma'am was also supportive and you know if you if you are asking me you know basically if anybody who is listening to this video and they wish to enroll into this course they should first have the zeal to learn if they are having the zeal to learn definitely this is going to be a helpful to them you know you just cannot come up there and just be provided with them the certificate and then they are asking you know i have job namely are bhai kuch padho to pehle <laughs> sorry i'm using this language <laughs> no 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 i completely understand the emotion and which is uh, right as well that uh, the hard work needs to be done by both the parties so how was your interview were you nervous on your interview day how did your interview went i was definitely nervous and thanks to uh, sumit sir he hmm. you know he guided me very well he you know uh, made my resume look well so that is why i got selected 
by the team. So basically, it was because of him and Neha Ma'am as well. Because I remember, I just before the day of before the day of my interview, I had a well, I tried to I tried calling Neha Ma'am as well, but she wasn't available that day. I don't know. I don't remember. I think Ankur sir was there. I'm, I'm not getting his name. He was there. So he also guided me. And yes, there was nervousness. There was butterflies. There were butterflies in the stomach that day. But you know, I was uh, you know uh, while going through that course, I have been to those videos as well. Wherein you were saying it is very uh, less. Uh, you know, there are very less chances that you will be selected through your very first interview. So I had this thing, this thing, this thing in my mind. So I was just like, okay, ho gaya, ho gaya. So but then <laughs> finally, after those two hours of interview and interrogation, I was <laughs> happily pleased. <laughs> Awesome, awesome. So happy for you. Any any last message you want to give to other mechanical engineers who are struggling right now to find a right career? Any message or a piece of advice to those uh, struggling uh, mechanical engineers? If you are very good with your concepts, uh, because I have to say this, if you are not good with the concepts, do not go into this field because there will be a lot of learning, and if you do not know those concepts, there will be a lot of going to be a problem to, for you in the future. So if you are very good with your concepts. And uh, if you have the zeal to learn, you know, uh, innovative stuff, what is going in the brain and how you're going, then definitely you may try this uh, course. You may try this field and you may try this domain as well. This is also domain because before joining this course, I never knew that this uh, this field is also for mechanical engineers. I never in my life had this idea. I before that I knew there were patents and it would require some kind of law kind of thing before because in, during my college days as well, had I been known, you know, ki, as a quick field head, then I would have applied, and you know, in the meanwhile, I could have prepared for those things as well. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you so much for talking to us. I'm I'm sure your story is going to inspire many other people yeah. to take a plunge and start their new career. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you so much. Thank you. I, I, you know, one thing, ma'am, just before before enrolling into this course, I went through those YouTube videos and I thought, you know, eight day video. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you so much. Bye.